citing sources using online tools. For this tutorial, I am just going to spend a few moments talking about how you can turn your hyperlinks into properly formatted citations for your discussion boards and as we move through the rest of the course. So as you know, with this course, we are focused on APA. If you are in English composition, your entire course is focused on APA. If you are in research and writing, your final two weeks of the course are focused on APA. So when you are using online sources, I have an article here. So when you have an online source, I recommend that you skim it first. I look for key things, uh, title of the article, uh, look for uh, perhaps where it was created. Uh, you may want to uh, just scroll through and get a gist of the article. Then go up to the address bar and copy the entire URL. I'm using Control C. And then my tool of choice, at least for right now, is Citation Machine. It is by no means perfect. However, for the most part, citations need minimal uh, revisions. So from Citation Machine, I'm going to click Create Citation. I am going to use a website. In this bar, I am going to use Control V to paste the website that I had just copied. And then I'm going to click Search. Uh, from here, it is really just verifying that this is, in fact, the source that you want to use. I'm going to click Cite. Uh, this window is really just giving you the gist of the information that it pulled from the uh, from the article. So we're going to continue. <coughs> so here's where you could make any changes. There was no author, but had there been, you could have add you could add the author's name here. If there are several, you could add all of those authors. You also can change if it's not an author, if it's an editor, you could indicate that here. Um, one thing I will change with this is if you look, it is from the University of Waterloo. So the publisher or sponsor, I am going to add the University of Waterloo. Not necessary, but because we know that detail, I will add it. Uh, the URL and then the date it was published and then the date accessed that will change each time the article is accessed so I'm going to complete the citation you want to make sure that this is correct we are using APA and then the one in yellow is the one that we are going to use so we are going to copy the citation and I'm going to hop over to my document I'm going to paste it and now I have my full citation when I am ready to do my in-text citation uh, with APA, it is always the first couple, the author's last name or the first couple words. And then a comma, and then the year. And you have your full and your in-text citation. And remember, those in-text citations go in the body of your work at the place where you have used this resource. I hope this helps.